The first bus service in Malta was launched in October 1905, though it only ran until the end of 1906. Who were some of the people involved, the true pioneers of the Maltese bus industry? The central character was Edward Tancred Ajus, although he is believed to have used the anglicised version Aegis. ETA, as he was known, was born in 1849 in Alexandria, Egypt, his father being a wealthy Maltese merchant. ETA himself became a very wealthy merchant too, running his business empire from London, though Malta was very much the heart of his operation. He died in Hampstead in North London in 1924 at the age of 75. Major Joseph Muscat was ETA's brother-in-law, ETA's wife being Muscat's sister. He acted as ETA's right-hand man in Malta, running the Maltese end of the empire on a day-to-day -day basis. He died in June 1908 at just 49 years old. Joseph Louis Muscat was the major's son, so ETA's nephew. He took over his father's role in ETA's company in 1908. He served in the military throughout World War I before returning to Malta. In the late 1920s, he was appointed the first police traffic officer, the role later known as traffic manager. He served as the secretary to the newly formed Traffic Control Board in 1930. He died in 1957, aged 71. Captain Frank Denaro was another of ETA's son-in-laws. He married one of ETA's daughters in 1901. When Major Muscat died in 1908, he took on a senior role alongside J.L. Muscat, running the Maltese end of ETA's empire. He remained in the military too, and by 1920 had risen to the rank of Lieutenant Colonel. He died in 1947, aged 79. Thanks to a number of entries in the police occurrence books for 1905 and 1906, it has been possible to build up this list of staff at ETA's bus company. Many of them probably appear in the well-known staff photo taken by Richard Ellis in 1905, though sadly in most cases it has not been possible to put faces to name so far. More detail about ETA and his colleagues and the buses they ran can be found in the full-length video lecture called Back to the Beginning. To view it, go to YouTube and enter Malta Bus Archive into the search box. To contact the Malta Bus Archive team, please email maltabusarchive at gmail.com.